It's mid-August and there's an activity that wakens Eastbourne from its normal pursuits of sunbathing and strolling along the seafront. It's the annual air show, a four-day display that rates as one of the most exciting events anywhere in England. This crowd-pulling attraction has been growing in size for over a decade, but few are aware that the town had a similar reputation in the years before and after the First World War. It was Major Bernard Fowler, an intrepid aviator, who first put Eastbourne on the aviation map. A far cry from the aircraft that now annually perform in the town's prestigious airborne extravaganza. But this frail aircraft took Blériot across the English Channel in 1909. A flying machine that was later to be displayed on the Devonshire Park lawns, and which excited Fowler enough for him to create the Eastbourne Aviation Company. little remains of those pioneering days. The grass airfield has returned to agricultural use and the hangars have been demolished to make way for flats. But there are two clues to be found. First here in the name of the road running up to the old airfield, Leeds Avenue. Why? Because the first pilots to be trained here came from Leeds. And secondly, something more tangible. The original guardhouse now turned into a bungalow. If only all history was that easy to place. Yet all around us there are houses and roads which recall the past. And people old enough to remember a very different Eastbourne. 